Uh, we will start in the middle of letter Tet, letter 9, in page Resh Mem Zain. Before I would like to start, I want to share a good story with you that uh, <coughs> my Rebbitzin told me on Shabbat. I really liked it. And this story... is an important message to everyone when we go to Brit Milah. We know Avram Avinu had zechut to have Yitzchak Avinu only because of Brit Milah. Hashem said to Avram Avinu, your wife Sarah is Eshet Chayel. She's a very holy woman. You can't have child from her unless you do yourself Brit Milah. Okay. Avraham Avinu made Brit Milah, and he had zechut to have baby boy from Sarai Emenu. You know, when you hear Brit Milah, you right away imagine to have 50 people, 100 people, 200 people, 40 people, 1,000 people for Brit Milah. But there was a case in the Brit Milah that's brought down in a book. I want to share with you. Happens a few years ago in Israel. Uh, Rabbi got a phone call. They called him and said, Rabbi, can you please come to our house to, do, to perform a breed to our son? People told us it's very important. Child is not allowed to stay without breed long time. So I want you to come. So he took the address. So now Rabbi came. He sees quiet house. No cars near it. He said, maybe I came to the wrong address. And no, mu- no music, no decorations, nothing. So he knocks on the door. Lady opens the door. She says, listen, Rabbi, people told me that the procedure of Brit Milah is not such a hard and long procedure. It's fast. So my husband went to work already. And I'm late to my work. My babysitter coming in 30 minutes. So here's our child. Wait for babysitter 30 minutes. When she comes, do what you need to do. And you leave. She'll take care of the baby. He was shocked. He said, what? Nobody's here? Who will be Sandak? Who will be Sandak Rishon? Who will name the baby? I mean, nobody's here. He said, you know what? Let me just close the case and go home. But then he said, stop. Maybe this family do not know the value of Brit Mila. And they will not perform the Brit Mila to the boy. So, you know, he said, he said, let me do the Brit Mila. And I'll be Sandag myself. And I'll be Sandag Rishon myself. And I'll be name the baby. And whatever happens, happens, you know. But by that time, babysitter should be here. Here's the number of babysitter. Lady left. So he put the baby on the couch. Said himself. Put baby on himself. Made brachot. All the beruchim atem. Kalemunai. Ubaruch. Shemo bikalemunai. So now, made bring me love. Priya, metzitza, everything, whatever necessary, he did. Now, he put the pampers back. Baby doesn't stop crying. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Wine doesn't help. Nothing helps. He starts panicking. And the babysitter is not there. So, baby is crying. And Rabbi is crying. And he's crying so bitterly. And now he's saying like this, Hashem. I'm crying for the boy, but I'm crying for a reason. My reason is, please help me, that I should see this child should become Talmud Chacham. Family don't care about this Brit Milah, it's already not a good sign, it's a red flag, they say. But you know what? Please, Hashem, I'll cry for him to grow up a religious Jew. He's crying, panicking, huge house, empty, nobody to help. He doesn't know what to do, walks around, mm, doesn't help. 35 minutes later, babysitter comes. Oh, sorry, the bus was delayed, you know. He said, fine, no problem. But she said, I don't understand. I understand my baby's crying, why you are crying. 
He didn't say the reason. He made sure baby was safe according to the Brit Mila perspective, healthy. He gave the medication and he said, listen, I'm sorry, I have to leave. He left, his tears didn't stop. He came home, day passed, two, year, two. 13 years later, he gets phone call. Rabbi, Shalom Aleichem, we're calling from this and this place. Remember, 13 years ago, you made Brit Mila to our son. He said, of course I remember that boy. <laughs> you think I would forget that case? I remember that case. So what do you want? We really don't know to which issue would put our son. Modern, orthodox, very orthodox, very modern. We don't know what to do. But people tell us to put him in the Mir Yerushalayim, which is Haredi. What do you think? He says, yes, you should put him there. You should put him there. But he said to her, can I ask you a question? Rabbi is asking from the mother of the baby, why after 13 years, you decided to call my number? Cannot be that you don't know any other rabbi. She said, Rabbi, literally, we don't know any rabbis. We opened the phone book, your phone number with your name, with your last name was first. So this is why we called you. So Rabbi went with the boy to the yeshiva. Yeshiva 50 times asked him a question. Who's the father? Who's the mother? Why from this kind of family? He wants to come to this yeshiva. What's going on? Yes, no. He said, please take him. Please take him. Year later, they called this Rabbi. The Rosh Yeshiva of the Mir Yeshiva calls him. He says, Rabbi, can I ask you a question? Is this true that this boy is from this family? And we, and we can't believe it. This guy knows few Gemaras by heart by now. He knows Mishnayot by heart. He's so, you know, diligent. He's so diligent to Batmada, constantly learning, you know, growing like crazy. He says, can you tell me why? The Rosh Hashiva is asking the rabbi now. Can you tell me why is he so into learning? Why he wants to learn and grow more? Rabbi said, I'll tell you the truth. He said the whole story of the Brit Milan. He said, you know why? Because 13 years ago, 14 years ago, when the baby was crying after breath, I was crying with him. So my cry caused him where he is. You know what Rosh Hashiva said? I'm sorry, maybe you're not completing your story. He said, why? He said, because on every breed comes Ilyahu Anavi. When you both cried, Ilyahu Anavi cried with you. Because of his cry, he's like this now. He said, Rabbi, you're right. What I'm trying to tell you, when you go to Brit Mila and you cry for your personal Hashem, please be zechud of this child that's screaming, crying, please forgive my sins, accept my tefillot. Let's say I want to get married. Let's say I want to have baby boy. I want a baby girl. I want to open business. I want my son, my daughter to be in proper path. I want them to get married to proper people. I want my children to have their own children. I want them to grow in Torah and Mitzvot. Every time you pray, you should know. If you have a tear come down, Elia one of his tears with your tears combined. You know, a year ago, our rabbi, Rabbi Aaron Walkin, passed away, he said, I don't understand. Why during the Brit Milah, people pray, 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 pray. Why you don't pray different occasions? Bar Mitzvah, pray on Bar Mitzvah. Why don't pray Bar Mitzvah? The answer is, let's say boy did not read the Parsha good. Is he embarrassed inside? Yes. Is he upset? Yes. Is he going to cry in public? Guys, I'm not happy to wear the Bar Mitzvah. He's crying. Is, does he do that? Why does he do that? Fake. Faker. Hurts you, but you don't show it in public. A baby boy on the Brit Mila, when Rabbi hurts him, it hurts and he shows it and he yells. Hashem says, he listen carefully. When you yell when it hurts you, that's the true voice. Because of his voice, all the gates are opening. You know, not because child cries, because the true voice cries. Whatever hurts you, he shows it outside. And that is why we pray with the koach of this boy. Yes, Hashem, please, with the good of this Kol emet, true voice, please accept our tefillot as well. Now with this story, we could continue studying the 
our parsha Zera Shimshon. We are holding letter Tet in the middle, in page Lesh, Lesh Mem Zain, from the beginning of the chapter, which starts with Im Ken, Hashem, uh, I'm sorry, Aram Avinu, after, Akedat Yitzchak, after Akedat Yitzchak, Yitzchak Avinu was 37 years old, he did not come back home, says Bet Yosef. Maran Bet Yosef says, it's not the main thing to do great mitzvah and walk around proud, happy I did this such a mitzvah. The main thing is, after this mitzvah, go sit and learn. Itzchak Avinu, after I kept that Itzchak, he didn't come back home. He was not there by the funeral of his mother. He went to bed midlash, Shem and Ever, and sit and learn in Torah. He learned three years, then he came back. After, after three years, he came home. His father said, Aha, you did big mitzvah? You said three more years to learn? Yeah, now you're ready to get married. After three years, uh, Abraham Avinu sending Eliezer to find wife for Itzchak Avinu from Padan Aram, from his family, from the family of Betuel. So now, Abraham Avinu, by sending Eliezer, he said, Everything, every jewelry, every money, everything in the house, I give it to your hands. Clothes, diamonds, whatever you say, I'm giving it to you. So you take everything and go bring me a wife for Yitzchak. If that family tells you that Yitzchak should move there, don't listen to them. Why? Because Yitzchak considered korban. He was altered, he was sacrificed on the altar and is considered korban. He cannot leave Eretz Israel. Eretz Israel Kadosh, he is Kadosh. So if the girl doesn't want to come, automatically she's not the one. So now, Elizabeth not only has to go find from the family, but he has to find the right girl. So what happens? The journey should have taken three, four days to go, minimum. But it took him. Same day, Eliezer went on a journey, and the same day he arrived in the city, he said, what? How did I come here right away? It was so fast, and I have 10 camels. So now, Eliezer, standing by the well, don't ask me why all our avot finding uh, their shiduchim by the well. I don't know, maybe this is the gathering place. Always well of water means Torah. En ma'im ela Torah. When you start thinking Torah, you buy the well of water and now Shiduchim happens. Why? Because when you think Torah, you match halakha to halakha, you make piravriya in halakha, then it becomes piravriya in the physical world. So what happens now? Eliezer stood by the well of water. There was a well of water, physical well of water, right? So he saw a girl is coming with a pitcher. And he said, if I will ask her to give me drink, and she will tell me, I will give you drink, and I will give your camel's drink. Hashem, I will know that you chose her. That she should be wife for its hack. Why? Just because she'll tell me, I'll give you a drink and I'll give camel's drink. Simple answer is, to come to Aram Aminu's house, you have to have not only chesed, extreme chesed. People come day and night from four doors. They eat, sometimes they even sleep, and they eat and they eat and they eat and they leave. You have to clean, cook, serve, clean, cook, serve, you know? It's not easy. If you are the one who will open their mouth, you're not the one. If you're the one who will do the way Sari Amenu did, then you're the one. I mean, today's generation, sir, no friendships, coming, sleeping. Come, eat, Shalom al Israel, go to your house. Any friend comes to the family, start giving advice how you have to talk to your husband, have to talk to your wife, how you talk to your kids. Second time, Atzla Haraba. A guest should know his limits. 
Once he becomes an advisor, dangerous. Dangerous. We have seen it's dangerous. Therefore, guest comes, eats, yeah. Divrei Torah, share, nice, eh? good, Chazak Baruch. Shalom al Islam. Okay. Family member? Step by step. How they say in Bukhar, no janga, no zi. Okay, we will talk. We will talk. Every, every case is different. Every case is a special case. Just friendships sometimes going too far, which is dangerous. Hashem should protect us from all this. So now, the question was, Eliezer, is he servant of Aram or no? Question. Question. Eliezer says, let me rely on miracle. If the girl says, stop, it's wrong. Maybe she's blind. Maybe she's limping. Maybe she has some disorder. I don't know. How can you, how can you make such a stipulation? Doesn't make sense. It's wrong. A girl comes out, she'll tell me, drink. Don't worry, I'll give you, I'll give you a camel. She's the one. Maybe she's something wrong with her in physical body. Physical. Maybe she's missing an eye. Maybe she cannot speak. She says, uh-uh, you know, I'll give you. That was a wrong prayer by Eliezer. Yet, Hashem performed a perform, perform miracle. Now, let's look inside. The question is, how can Eliezer rely on miracles? You know why he relied on miracles? Because already a miracle happened. Because he already jumped roads. Hashem made the roads jump under him. He's walking forest hills. He already ended up in Brooklyn. Three steps, New Jersey. Three steps, Pennsylvania. Five steps, Philadelphia. 25 steps, Buffalo. And he started going, you know. Until he came to Aram, Miami. I'm joking. Uh, let's go further. In Ken, if so, Amar Eliezer. Eliezer said to himself, since the land jumped for me. Since the land jumped for me. That is already a sign that Hashem will make me a miracle. If so, let me rely on miracle. Therefore, he relied on the miracle. The way it happened to David Amelech, right? Hashem gave him signs, then he beat lion, then he beat the bear, and go on and go on. And he was forced to say like this, that Hashem made me a miracle, that I should marry her, because Betuel would be a big rabbi for today, you know. Suddenly, sometimes uh, Rashai of the world, they become big rabbis sometimes when it comes to their uh, beneficial incidents. So they, he would say, listen, how can you marry her? She's still Ktana. But, uh, Eliezer closed his mouth. Hashem made me so many miracles. Means Hashem wants it. So you cannot say she's Ktana. She's minor. As it says, Gemar Kedushim, page 41a. The ha midi hu taima elapen lo yezivugo ara uilo. Lo samchina nanisa. Or maybe this would not be a good zivug. And who said we should be relying on the miracles? Can you imagine a young guy, 25 years old, walking in the middle of the street, and he says, okay, there's going to be a green light. If girl passes the street, passes, I don't know, Queens Boulevard, she is my zivug. I have to do everything to marry her. If she passes uh, not Queens Boulevard, goes different direction, then she's not my... Can you get married like this? Can you do like this stuff? Can you do such a... So why Eliezer did? Because maybe this is not zivu. Yeah, maybe maybe it's gonna turn said. out not good. We just said. Huh? We just not said that he. The only yeah. reason he did this was in order for him to have a a a statement to give to the community. To give what? 
in order that he can say that Hashem said, Hashem gave me these miracles in order that. He's saying same thing. That would make sense. He's saying the same thing. Already Hashem made some miracles. This one I'm relying on more miracles. And look what it says. Shani hacha. It's different over here. Dakadush Barhu. Once Hashem made so many miracles already. So for sure this, this the fact that Rivka came out right now, it's also from Hashem. That Elohim Moshiv Yechidim Beit. And we're not worried. That maybe tomorrow she's got now she's a tiny girl, right? She sees a strong man, he has some money, a lot of camels, gifts. Maybe I want to marry. After 10 years, maybe she's gonna grow up. She'll say, Excuse me, uh, this guy's not for me. I want to marry somebody else. Here, we're not worried. Why? Hashem made so many miracles to show that she's the one who fits here. Hashem will not that, let that happen. By the way, you should know whoever learns about Zivugim. Hashem will help him to get married. I don't know, past few years, we, we have seen a lot of young guys come. And Baruch Hashem, we were there recently on the Brit Tot and Bar Mitzvot. Bezal Hashem, Ken Yerbu. The Od, and also Yeshlomar, She Eliezer Samach Atzmo Alanes. Eliezer relied on a miracle. Lefisha Chashav Bedato She Bevada Yiev Shash It is Damen Lo Isha She Ena Hogenet. Why? Why he was relying on miracle? Because he said, I know for sure Hashem is not going to send me a woman for my master, for Yitzchak Avinu, that she's not worthy to go to the family. He says, because of the zuchut of Avraham and Yitzchak Avinu, Hashem is not going to let that happen, that not proper girls should come into the family. Even also it says, Hashem, it says in the Pasuk, Hashem will not rest the tribe of Rasha and the fortune, Goral, I say Goral? Like Larry, Mazal, Mazal. Of Mazal of Tzadikim. Hashem will not stick in Rasha into the path of Tzadikim, into the generation, to the mazal, into the... into the luck, into the mazal, into the mazal of Tzadikim. Means... Rasha will fall to the Rasha, Tzadik will fall to the Tzadik. ועוד חשב בדעתו, שאי אפשר שבית משפחתו של אברהם לא יתרצו מיד ליתן לו האישה. He thought, he said, Impossible that Abraham Avinu's family is not going to give me the wife. Shekvan Hayam Fudsam Ba'olam Oshlova Tifarto Shel Avraham. Why? Because Abraham Avinu's name, I'm telling you the truth, today, I don't want to compare, it's, 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 it's embarrassment. It's embarrassment. It's embarrassment. It's embarrassment. I was thinking, say, Bill Gates, you know. You don't understand. In 10, fine, 50 years, uh, be nice, 100 years, you will never find anywhere name of Bill Gates, anywhere. You're not going to find. Avram Avinu, how many years? Three and a half thousand years. Four thousand. Close to four thousand years. Avram Avinu. When he's not alive, he's so famous. When he was alive, you know what was there? Look at this Zerah Shimshon. Shekwad haya mefursam be'olam, ba'olam oshro. Avram Avinu was famous, rich guy, known in the history. There was no second to compare, to compete close to Avraham. There's no one compared to Avraham. So if this girl not married to the family, lost. She's not going to find any better. The beauty of him, the kiddusha of him. It's Avram Avinu. Do you know, honestly, Rivka fell from the camel when she saw the wholeness of Yitzchak Avinu. 500 steps away, 1,000 steps away. She saw the kiddusha of Yitzchak Avinu. Boom! Fell from the camel. Kiddusha. Ve'im yimanu bezeh lo yimatsu od dugmato ba'olam. If they will stop the shidduch, they will not find nothing close to this in the world. 
נאטינג. ואם היה בה הדבר דרך טבע, but if this שידוך is working out through the nature, by itself, לא היה יוצא מזה שום כבוד לאברהם. Nothing would be here for the honor of Abraham. There would be no signs that Hashem is doing something crazy for Abraham, some chesed for Abraham. If Eliezer would walk four days, the way he took or three days takes to walk, and he would walk three days, there would be nothing special about Abraham. But once, whatever it takes three days, took three hours, it's something, something uh, unusual here. Special. Something special for Abraham Avinu here. The odd and also, Hayu Masim Bitam Bekavanat HaOsher. You know, in Shulchan Aruch, Eben Ha'ezer, second chapter, says you should not marry your daughter to another family for money. People should not get married for money. It doesn't turn out good. So here, Zer Hashimshon says, in Aram Avinu's generation, people bedavka married their daughters for money. So here, except for holiness of Aram Avinu, Betuel wanted that. Rivka to get married to Avraham Avinu's family. Why? Guilt. Money. Maybe she wants even to get married. Maybe she cares about only money. Maybe she wants even to get married. Maybe she cares about only money. Therefore, she wants wanted that it should come out through the miracle. So I know for sure she wants to get married 100% for him, and this is Mina Shamaim, and Hashem is happy, and everything's working out good. Kedeh sheit gadel kevodo shel Avraham Avinu, shakadosh baruchu hefik derech nes mishalod levavo. In order, in order, Eliezer wanted that everything should work out through the miracle in order to fulfill the desire of Avraham Avinu. Therefore, everything should finish, everything should complete the whole wedding the way Hashem wants and nothing else. Therefore, he relied on miracle. I want the way Hashem wants and nothing to rely on nobody else. Not me, not him, not her. Nothing. Hashem wants it. וזהו הטעם שבתחילת דבריו אמר עבד אברהם אנוכי. What did he say in the beginning? I am Abraham Avinu's servant. כדי שלא יתפסו עליו שלא היה נאמן בשליחותו. So they shouldn't even think about him that he did not fulfill his mission as a messenger. שערי שאל because already when he prayed, he asked wrong statement. Whoever comes out girl, and she will say, I'll give you drink and I'll give you a camel's drink. She's the one, but it's wrong stipulation. Why? Maybe she's not from good families. Maybe she's from the cursed family, actually. Maybe she has some blemish. Maybe she's body defect. It's not good. משומחי הקדים שעד לבא היה עבד נאמן וכוונתו הייתה לא תועלת אברהם. So he says, I'm Abraham Avinu servant, my intentions fully the way my master's heart wants. Even though I'm saying some wrong stipulation, my kavana is to make my master happy. ועדיין יש לדקדק. Now, put your seat belt, huh? Exercise that shouldn't fall asleep on me. I'm not that. I, I am boring, but I'm not that boring. Wake up. Yeah. Let's speak a little bit. Some halachot. Even Aezer. Do you know? Two friends sitting here. Halacha. Shulchan Aruch. One friend has restriction. He doesn't have vaccine. To go to Canada. And he found good Eshet Chal girl there. Okay. And he says to his friend, listen. I cannot go there. He is a diamond ring. Or gold ring, whatever. Give it to her. Say, Hareyad Mekudeshet. Law. You put ring on her. She should be married to me. Can he be my messenger? Yes. Yes. He's the messenger. Yes. 100%. adam kemoto, right? Gemara Kiddushin, Perek Bet. Person's messenger is like himself. Perfect. What if he is a good guy, but he doesn't breed Mila? 
Can he be my messenger? No. Give him a break in What if he's a servant? No, he doesn't. What if he's a servant? Sluga. Goy. Servant, slave, or Servant, slave, or Same thing. Oh, Goy. Goy. Listen, do me a favor. Take this ring, put it on her. From that moment, she should be my wife. Can Goy do that to me, huh? Huh, Ariel Jones? What do you say? I know you have nothing to worry about. Your fiance will come out from Queens, you know. But uh, some people are getting wife from Canada and they have no vaccine. They go there, they say, you know, brother, huh? what? I trust you. The messenger can put it on the finger, but he's touching her finger. He doesn't have to put it on the finger. Yeah, he could put it on her hand. Yeah, but it's touching her finger. Huh? Yeah, but it's touching her finger. Huh? Yeah, but it's touching her finger. He saw her through FaceTime. <laughs> the law is messenger only if, he, if he's kemoto like him you have breed he has breed you're Jew he's Jew he's goy doesn't work why he doesn't have Torah Kiddushin he doesn't have the law of Kiddushin on him he can't marry anybody if he doesn't have Torah Kiddushin huh Thank you very much. How can Avram Avinu send Eliezer to marry Yitzchak? He's a servant. Servant cannot marry. You want to hear the answer? Avram Avinu, before he let him go, he said to him, you are a free man. He freed him. If he wouldn't free him, done. Comes his kuni. I saw this Chizkuni today, I really jumped. Because I never know, I never knew such a Chizkuni exists. Wow, guys, uh, I really did not know that so many people on Zoom and so many people on also. With us learning. Hashem should give you all Baracha Vatzlacha. Now. Look what Chizkuni says. Crazy deep. I never knew this Chizkuni. Really? Eliezer was servant of Abraham. Abraham said, go marry me, Yitzchak. Find me wife for Yitzchak. When Eliezer went to Lavan, to Betuel's house, because he's serving Abraham, his life status changed. He was Arur, cursed. How? He's Kenani. Eretz Israel was called Eretz Kenan. Why it became Eretz Israel? To teach us, if you don't respect your father, your father curses you, you're gonna lose your real estate. What does that mean? How, where? Yeah, Noah. Cursed his son Canaan. He said, You should be serious to your brother. Canaanim was cursed since Noah, according to some opinions, after cursing, hostile journey, you know. He became he became Cushing. Very good. Let's talk clean. Let's talk clean. He got burned. Fine. Kenanim were cursed. So Abraham Avinu said, Eliezer, I don't want you to marry. Eliezer wanted Yitzchak for his daughter. So he wanted the girls to say no. This way it says, Eli, really it's Ulai. Ulai, in the Pasha, it says, Ulai, maybe Ulai, Aisha, Lotovela, Lechet, Acharai, maybe she doesn't want to come follow me. Ulai, once it says with Vav, second time it says without Vav, means. Read Eli to me. He says, if the girl down, it says no, then to me, maybe your son will be my domot, will be my son-in-law. Abraham said, don't mention that. Why? Because Ani, Baruch, Vata, Arur, I am blessed and you are cursed. No, blessed and cursed are matching. But you know what Chizkuni says? Ad Khan, until here. As soon as Abraham Avinu let him go, as soon as it's like, uh, Eliezer start looking for a wife, he became blessed. Proof? Look at this. Look at the Pasha. Next, continue. Lavan says, 
Ooh, you coming to the house? Come inside. Eliezer wanted to come in. Camels don't come in. They stay outside. Why? Aram Avinu's camels were holy. were holy. They said, we are not going to the room when there is idol. This guy's an idol worshiper. There's, there are idols there. We're not going in. So Lawan said, okay, stay outside. He cleaned all the idols out. Then camels start going in. Then Lawan said to Eliezer, Ba Beruch Hashem, come. Blessed for God. You are blessed in front of God. Come in. What does that mean? He means to say, you were till today cursed. Like from today and on, you blessed. You're like any other Jew. How did he see? Very good. Should I tell you the truth is? Goy doesn't need to see to say something. A lot of time in history, Goy said prophecy without even feeling it. Goy said prophecy without even knowing it. Proof. Daughter of Paro. What was her name? Batia. When Batia picks up the baby Moshe, she couldn't find any <laughs> nurses. She called. Miriam came. She brought Zipporah, mother, right? When she said, Helichi etayel etazeh. Go take this baby. You know what Rashi says? She said, He shetelichi. You know what Shetelich means? This is your baby, take him. Shelach, Shetelich. Shelach, He Shelichi. Helichi, He Shelichi. You know what Shelichi means? This is your baby. Go take your baby and feed him. When she said that, she says prophecy, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. Paro says, oh, you want to go? Me by me, Olechim. He says, who will enter Eretz Israel? What is he saying? You're taking out 600,000 men from 20 to 60. Everyone will die. Only two people will come in. Me by me, Yoshua, Binun, Kalev, Ben, Ifuna. Everyone else will die. So what are you talking about? He saw prophecy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Same thing here. Laman sees prophecy. says, hey, Babaruch Hashem. Hashem put in his mouth. Say, you know what? Say, you blessed. Why is he blessed? Because he served Tzadik. Abraham Avinu. Where did we see in the history person so Tzadik became greater than even learning from him? Elisha Navi. Elisha was student of Eliyahu. Gemara Rachot says what? Uh, Navi says what? They say, in the to him, they say, uh, that he mazag maim al yadao. He poured water to Eliyahu and Avi's hands. From here, Gemara says, Gidola Shimusha Yotel Mi Limuda. Serving Talmud Chacham is more than actually learning from him. So, where do we see that true story happened before? Avram and Eliezer. Curse became blessed. Arur became Baruch. Now, let's continue. We have five minutes. We gotta speed up. Let's go. What did Lawan see to say? You know what? Come inside, you're blessed by Hashem. To take him out from the... How can... What did Lawan see to take him out from the uh, status of the servant? And we could answer... As soon as Lawan saw bracelets... Rings, nose rings, jewelry, all the achoto on his sister's hands. Savar she says, "Aish nitnam la betorat kiddushin." Oh wow, this guy himself gave to marry her. The alkor chach says, "Lomar she atzami klal evet." So if he's marrying her, means if he's a messenger, right? He's not servant anymore because servant cannot do, cannot be a messenger. Damni nam beperek bet kiddushin. Ah. Sir, are you asking me? Yeah. Look at my face. Yeah. Tell me one thing. If you going to make closing on a house, you're gonna send your servant to make a closing? No, but, but uh, st st stop, stop, stop. When you buy a potato from the store, you sell, you send your servant to make a closing on a building. 
you're not going to send your servant. You're going to send your son, right? Yeah. Or your partner, right? So he's making closing for life where generations and generations of tzaddikim will come out. In this situation, you do not send your servant. And then Gemara says, he has to be like you. If he's not like you, Bnei Brit, if he doesn't have connection, the bond between him and Hashem, like Klal Israel do, he can't do Kiddushin. Hulo betorat Kiddushin bichlal. He's not in the, in the law of Kiddushin. There's no Kiddushin by a Goy. As Gemara says in Gemara Kiddushin, page 41b. Ma'atem bnei brit. Ah, here it is. How you are. People who has covenant. Afshluchachem bnei brit. Your messenger also has to be. You cannot make messenger goy. You know, go and marry my wife to me. You can't. Goy. Ve'im Yeah. Okay. So, we know that. Isn't that a that whenever you take the every you give him a brit, and then whenever you release him, then he gets the mitzvot of um, an ish? Or is it that whenever you take him, he just he doesn't have to get a breed, but he has to be taught him an isha, and then whenever you release him, then he becomes a, like an ish, and then he gets a breed then. Does he get it whenever he gets appointed to be an ebed, or does he get it whenever he gets released? Didn't he do with the Hmm. I think Eliezer did Brit Mila right before he left. Eliezer did Brit Mila before it's Chagavinu. Uh, uh, before it's Chagavinu was born. Avram Avinu did Brit Mila. Eliezer did Brit Mila. Anderes Kol Mamre did Brit Mila. He had Brit Mila before. Hmm. Uh, that was something different. I don't want to say it. It's not for recording. But uh, we will discuss that later. Ben Brit here means Ben Mitzvah, of course. Jew, 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 Jew. Again, uh, Jew even not religious. This is what it means, Ben Brit. He has obligation to keep Shabbat, Kashrut. Okay? So he's called Ben Brit. How you are people of covenant who has Torah to keep. Your message also has to be like this. So if he would be servant, then he cannot do Kiddin Kiddushin. And he cannot be messenger to go and marry Rivka. And also, we should say, we're forced to say that Abraham Avinu is redeeming him from being a slave servant. As we saw in Shulchan Aduch, chapter 267, the law number 70. If servant, his master obligated him to do something that is not obligated, that he doesn't have to do. He said to him, extraordinary thing to do, by him fulfilling it, he becomes free man. When it goes, does it, he becomes free man. Same thing. If servant, Yerav Nisim, you with me? If servant, that you're sending him to buy three potatoes, two apples, three candies every day, and suddenly you're telling him, go make closing, go here's the money, go make closing on a building, then you already what? You give him something extraordinary, he becomes free man automatically. And we see from here how Eliezer was sent to marry Yitzchak, he became free man. Now, we have four minutes. Guys, you with me? No more questions, yeah? We'll just go through. Because there's a beautiful point. How Eliezer saw that Rivka belongs to Yitzchak, it's unbelievable. It's so beautiful. It is worth to stop on Shabbat table and speak about it for three minutes to your whole family and they will enjoy. It's so beautiful. The Oh, the Shlomar, and also we could say, 
של לבן, שאמר לו, בא ברוך השם, היה בהרמה ובמרמה. Really, Lavan was so tricky, even though when he said, come you blessed to Hashem, was also with a trick. He knew he's a servant. But he said, you blessed also to trick him. Ah, and you here? Lavan also wanted to trick him. וכוונתו הייתה לטעון שהוא היה בן חורין וקידשה לעצמו. His כוונה was, ah, you know what? Maybe you, free man, now go take my sister to yourself as a wife. ושבר מקרי חתן, ויש כאן סבלונות. So, it's good that he called him חתן. He said, oh, you the Chatan? Yeah. Wow, now there's, there's so many, so many presents, yeah? What, what do you want? I can't hear you. She's not going to do it again. That's, that's, that's who? Uh, Milana? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to give her Atatashkis later, okay? Let's go. Further, further. He said, uh-huh, you want to marry my sister? No problem. Let's do the wedding. Let's see it. So fun, I'll take it But you know what I'll tell you? Person who acts tricky. Sometimes he looks real, but in the end of the action, you see how he was Rasha even from the beginning. This is what we see from where? Here. They got, El they got Eliezer inside, such a big party, respect, this, that, and then what they wanted to do? Poison him. So they see from beginning already that that was the idea, to kill him. Shebetuel hitil sam amamet b'ma'achal Eliezer she'aya rotzei she'yamut. He wanted Eliezer to get killed, so he gets all the gifts, all the presents. Before we leave this topic, we have to give good. Why Eliezer did all these gifts to make a hint, to make a sign for this girl? She said, if! She will give drink to the camels, she's the one. What kind, what kind of stipulation is this? What kind of stipulation? The Ita be Midlash Rabba, because this is Midlash Rabba. Kmo she pilesh baal matanot keuna, as explained baal matanot keuna. Man de svirele, de agemalim shemel Avraham, lo haya lahem zamam klal. According to the one who said, Avraham Avinu's camels, they never had... Mazel, very good, I wanted to say mask, whatever. Mazel, Mazel, Vim Koze, Lo Ayu, Lo Im Besadot Achilim. Still, they didn't go grace from different people's fields. Kachamor Shel Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yair, like the donkey of Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yair, also was tzaddik. If someone was not so worthy, he wouldn't eat from him. If you took fruits and put in front of that camel, or uh, donkey, if person did not give Tuluma and Masrot, camel, uh, donkey would not eat. <laughs> Why? Because to the tzaddik. Now, listen to this beautiful chidush, guys. You with me? Where punchline, while Yezer saw, because of camels, that Rivka belongs to Yitzchak. Look at this. Ve'amar ha'eved be'atzmo. And servant said to himself, Eliezer said to himself, Ho'il u'bayim tan shel tzaddikim en ha'kadosh b'chum evitala takala al yadan. Since Hashem never brings mistakes to the, to the, Animals, even animals of the tzaddikim, as it says in Gemara Chulim, page hey, five. B. Im ken be elu agmalim vada elu tavo shum takala. And these camels also no mistakes was ever done. They didn't go to the house, even though it happened later. They didn't go to the house. They were not eating from the different people's fields. So what happened? She ken inyano haraot she enam roim besadot achilim. What's the proof? They never ate from different people's fields. Ve im lo aya. If this woman, if Rivka is not worthy to be Yitzchak Avinu's wife, the camels will not drink from her. If she's not worthy to be Yitzchak Avinu's wife, camels will not drink. So by camels drinking, I will know if she is worthy to be Yitzchak Avinu's wife. What happens? He saw how camels finish drinking. Then what? Then he right away takes bracelets and start putting on her. Why? Camels drink. Oh, they are tzaddikim. The camels of a big tzaddik. They are drinking. Hashem doesn't bring mistakes to the camels. Doesn't be uh, uh, tripping, uh, falling, falling things like uh, to fall. To come to the sin, to the camels even, to the donkeys of the tzaddikim even. So for tzaddikim for themselves, 
כל שכן, שבוודאי היה בטוח שתהיה אישה הוגנת לו. So he said, since the camels drink, that's the proof she is kosher woman for יצחק אבינו. ברוך השם, because of this זכות, how many צדיקים in the world came out. השם should help all those who are struggling to get married, to have children, to have open businesses, to grow, to open their neshamot in learning Torah. Hashem should help everyone grow in learning and in everything they wish. Amen.